Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. We are discussing coordinate geometry and this is lecture second. In first lecture, we have discussed about the system of Cartesian system and coordinate uh, of the point, what is coordinate of the point and how to describe coordinate of the point and quadrant and all about it. If you are not able to understand all those things, uh, please uh, refer to the previous video um, again and uh, if you have watched it then definitely you, uh, you have understand all those things so let us discuss some questions today and i'm going to discuss questions from the given exercise and in first exercise which is given in your book um, and that is ncrt is uh, related to uh, activity and the first question was given that uh, how to describe the position of a table lamp on uh, uh, your study table so definitely answer is a Cartesian system uh, with the help of Cartesian system we can specify the coordinate of a table lamp on our table. Next exercise, uh, there is exercise 3.2 and in this there is some questions and that we have to deal with. So in 3.2 exercise the questions are given here that uh, write the answer of each of the following. The first question is given here, I write the answer of I write the answer of each of the following question. Each of the following question. Each of the following questions. Questions. Right? I write the answer of each of the following questions. And the first question which is given here is What is the name of horizontal? What is the name of horizontal? Name of horizontal and Horizontal and vertical lines. Horizontal and vertical lines. Vertical lines. That is given. Uh, drawn to determine the position of any point. Drawn to determine the position of the position of any line point. Any point in a plane. In a plane. So answer is, what is answer? The vertical line is called, horizontal line is called x-axis. We have learned it. Horizontal line is called x-axis. Called x-axis. And vertical line is called y-axis. This is the answer, right? Now. So vertical line, horizontal line is called x-axis. And vertical line is called y-axis line is called y axis this is what right now so you have understood this there is no problem i think so this is the solution of first question now the second question they are asking about uh, what is the second question what is the name of each point in the plane formed by these two lines what is the name of each part name of each part which part of the plane formed by these two lines formed by these two lines these two lines so formed these two lines they are called quadrant so solution is they are called quadrants quadrants and named as named as first, second, third, and fourth. Right? This is the solution. Now there is a third question of this part. Write the name of point where these two lines intersect. Write the name of the point. Point where these two lines intersect where these two lines intersect lines intersect right write the name the answer is what is that called origin origin answer is origin nothing else just one point where these two lines intersect the answer is called origin 
sign is called origin and that we have learned out right man? so this one is called origin this point is called origin i hope you got it okay this point is called origin origin and the coordinate of that is 0 0 now the second question in this exercise is being given here like uh, there is a cartesian system and uh, they have given a diagram and uh, now on that diagram they are asking the coordinate of a particular point or like that so let me draw this diagram first so for question number second it is given that uh, here that uh, see the graph second and write the following write the following the following from this graph this diagram is given this graph is given first question was given here the coordinate of b the coordinate of b coordinate of b what is b here if you will see this b is there and x is along x axis the distance measured along x axis is here that is minus 5 so coordinate of b will be minus 5 x coordinate and coordinate of y will be 1 2 distance measured along y axis that is 1 2 2 is this so minus 5 2 so answer is for this answer is minus 5 2 the second question which is given here uh, that is the coordinate of c the coordinate of c coordinate of c so if you will see uh, c is here only right now that is the distance along x axis age 5 so that will be 5 right now positive direction and distance along y axis is also 5 but in negative direction so it will be minus 5 and 5 and minus 5 so answer is 5 and minus 5 the third question is there and the third question is what the point identified by the coordinates 3 minus 5 the point identified identified by minus 3 minus 5 minus 3 minus 5 so let us see which one the point is minus 3 minus 3 is here only and minus 5 is there only so minus 3 minus 5 is represented by what e so answer is here e answer is e e is point which is represented as minus 3 minus 5 minus 3 minus 5 okay so answer is this i hope you got it the fourth one is let me write on the next page the fourth part of this question was given here the abscissa of point D the abscissa, abscissa of point D point D is what the abscissa of point D D is there and coordinate of D is what coordinate of D is 6 and 2 so f c is x coordinate so answer is 6 so here what will be answer answer is 6 d has coordinate d has coordinate 6 comma 2 so f c is 6 f c is x coordinate the fifth one is fifth question of this x this is fifth is f c is of d and fourth one is this one is fifth okay and uh, fourth one is here that I am writing in fifth. The point identified by the coordinate, the point identified by the coordinate, coordinate, what coordinate? 2 comma minus 4, 2 comma minus 4, what is that? This one is 5, 4 and this one was 5. Okay, so this one was 5. Interesting the question. So 2 and comma minus 4. 2 comma minus 4 is where? See. 2 comma minus 4 is where? X2 and 2 is here and Y is minus 4. 
So 2 comma minus 4 is G. That is 2 comma minus 4. So G is the point. So answer of this question is G. G has coordinate 2 comma minus 4. G, the coordinate of G is G is 2 comma minus 4. So this is G. Answer is point G. Now sixth question is there. And sixth question is the coordinate of point H. The coordinate of point H. Coordinate of point H. Point H. So answer is what is answer? Answer can be given like answer is H has coordinate what? Let's see. H has coordinate like uh, where is H? There is H. And H has coordinate X along X axis. This is 5 and along Y axis. This is 3. So that is minus 5 minus 3. That will answer. So coordinate of H is minus 5 minus 3. You can type minus 5 minus 3. Okay. Now the seventh question is there. And seventh question is the coordinate of point L. The coordinate of point L. Point L. And L is what? Let us see. Where is L? L is given here only. So L has L is on y axis. So x coordinate definitely will be 0. And y coordinate is positive 5. So 0, 5. And therefore, we can write coordinate of L is 0, 5. Now, the eighth question is question number 8. The coordinate of point L. The coordinate of point L. Point M. H. M is where? Where is M? Let us see. M is there only. So that is negative 3 and lie on y axis and y axis x coordinate is on x axis y coordinate is 0 so that will be minus 3 0 so coordinate of m will be minus 3 0 so these are few questions uh, which has been given in exercise 3.2 hopefully you got all those answers and uh, understood as well there is no problem at all right now there is another exercise also given in this topic that is 3.3 .3. So let us discuss questions from that exercise as well. Exercise 3.3 .3. and in this exercise uh, first question is given like uh, in which quadrant or on which axis in which quadrant in which quadrant or on which axis which axis do each of the point do each of the point points minus 2 4 3 minus 1 minus 1 0 1 2 and minus 3 minus 5 lie Verify your answers by locating this in Cartesian plane. Verify your answer. Answer by locating them. Locating them on Cartesian plane. On Cartesian plane. Cartesian plane. Right? You have to verify them. So, of course, uh, one by one, first let me write answer, then there will be verification as well. Um, minus 2, 4. X is negative, Y is positive. So, it lies in second quadrant. Lies in quadrant 2. Second. Right now. And 3 and minus 1. X is positive, Y is negative. Lies in quadrant 4. Right now. So, that will be answer. Okay. So lies in quadrant 4. And now uh, minus 1, comma 0. X is negative, Y is 0. Lies on negative X axis. On negative side of X axis. Side of X axis. Right? Then there is a point 1, comma 2. Both are positive. 1, comma 2. 1, 2. 
that is lies in quadrant first quadrant first right then there is minus 3 minus 5 minus 3 minus 5 both are negative and both are negative then this lies in quadrant quadrant third i hope you remember this all that has been already discussed in this uh, previous lecture now we have to locate them verify and locate them so if i have a graph let us see if i can take a graph and now the points which we have to represent minus 2 4 x axis and y axis so let me first draw the uh, graph on it and the graph can be obtained like uh, using this say using this and writing like this okay so this is y axis and x axis say this is y axis that is x axis which is x dash and then there is a y dash as well so there will be y dash okay this is the graph now uh, we need to plot the value we have to see the range that is y is maximum minus 5 and uh, y is maximum 4 3 minus 3 so we can choose accordingly a scale so you should try it first the scale and if I take this one as 1, 2, 3, 4 and 1, 2, 3, 4 then uh, it will be say this one is 2 if I am taking it that as 2 this distance is 2 2 a square is equal to a small a square is 1 so you should write here a scale a scale is on x axis 2 a small a square a small a square is 1 unit let me write here not on graph but I am writing here a scale on x axis 2 a small a square is equal to 1 unit on y axis also two a small squares is equal to one unit right so in that case the points can be located like two then that will be four that will be six this will be also two that will be four and that will be six three in between that will be minus two minus four minus six like this and moreover for y axis also we can write here that is uh, minus 2 minus 4 minus 6 isn't it so minus 6 right so clearly uh, 1 is in between uh, 1 is here after just 2 line there is 1 there is uh, 3 you know so 1 2 3 4 5 6 like this that is also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5 and 6. Similarly here there will be minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 5, you know. All these points can be located and can be written. But uh, too many points looks rough lengthy and dirty as well. So avoid all those writing too many points. But you can do it. Anyway, this is the origin. Now points which has to be represented are um, like uh, these are the points minus 2, 4, x minus 2, y4, x minus 2 and y4. So where is that? x minus 2 is there, right now. This will be minus 2 and y is 4. So x minus 2 and y4 is there. So this is a point minus 2, 4. Of course, this is like in second quadrant. This is quadrant second. That one is quadrant first. This one is quadrant third. And this one is quadrant fourth. 
So all these four quadrants are there and I have mentioned minus 2 and 4. Now the next point is 3 comma minus 1. X3, Y minus 1. X3 is there and Y minus 1 is here only. So that is 3 comma minus 1. That is point say the name is given A. That name is given B. B is the point. Now the third point is given. That is minus 1, 0 minus 1 and 0 x minus 1 and y 0 so point lies here only x minus 1 and y 0 so that point is called c that is minus 1 0 and this point is noted as c and this is the point you know this is point c minus 1 0 now the next one is uh, 1 comma 2 x 1 y 2 x 1 and y 2 is this point that is D that is 1 comma 2 and the last one is minus 3 minus 5 that lies in minus 3 x minus 3 is there and minus 5 is there so minus 3 minus 5 is this point and clearly that lies in third quadrant so all points are also verified here that uh, in which quadrant they have lied so minus 3 minus 5 that is point say E. So all those points are marked and uh, it has been verified there where they lie and how they lie. So this is all about this question. Now there is another question plot x y given in the following table. Second question was there and the question is question number 2 plot the points points x y given in the following table given in the following table following table table and choosing suitable unit of distance choosing suitable unit of distance choosing suitable suitable unit of distance unit of distance okay so that is a question and that is second question is given so i can plot another graph on the same another graph here also and that for that i can choose here one more cartesian axis say like this this one was and uh, x minus 1 to 0 y 8 y is 8 here also so that can be And you can write, or should I write one more graph? Okay, let us see. Let me draw on the next page. No problem. Writing the same here also. Okay, now this is C, and this one is y axis and writing here again this is the second graph y axis that is x axis which is x dash and this one is y dash you know so i have taken this y dash a scale suitably can be taken so i can take it as one unit is like uh, one so i can write it starting from there one like here. Yeah, okay. Now, uh, this can be taken as one unit as one. So, I can write here this is y, y dash, x, x dash, and y, y dash. Okay. Now, one unit is one, say two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can take like this. Similarly, here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like that. And here also one square is one unit. I can choose it accordingly or according to our convenience. There is also one square is one unit. So you can write a scale on there that one square is one unit. Here a scale can be written. A scale, suitable scale, they said about the suitable scale. 
so we can write a scale as one square is one unit on x axis as well as on y axis on x axis and y axis both y axis both okay now there is a table which is given here x for x and y and that table is given like points are described in this table so i can use it and uh, let me write those points okay. the points are given here like uh, x and y are given okay so the first point is given minus 2 comma 8 minus 2 comma 8 that is the point second one is given uh, minus 1 7 third one is 0 comma 1.25 fourth one is 1 comma 3 fifth one is 3 comma minus 1 these are the points so we have to plot these points x minus 2 y 8 the, so the points which are to be represented as uh, minus 2 y 8 this is minus 1, 7, 0, 1.25, 1, 3, and 3, minus 1. Although 1.25 is difficult to represent here, but uh, if you want to plot long graphs where the scale of unit can be in a small squares is equal to 1, then definitely you will be able to represent 2.25 and on your graph which is given in your school so that has the centimeter graph and that has uh, 10 lines in between one centimeter so definitely we will do that right now i am just representing here because i have this graph only so x minus 2 y 8 x minus 2 is here this is minus 2 x is minus 2 here only and y is 8 so 8 is here 1 2 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 is here. So x minus 2, y, 8 is this point. That is minus 2, 8. We can represent here. Now again, uh, the second point is minus 1, 7. x is minus 1 or y, 7. So x is minus 1 here only and y, 7. That is this point. Right now this is 7, this is 8. So minus 1, 7 is this point this one you know okay now the next page 0 comma 1.25 x 0 on y axis and y is 1.25 so this is 1 and this is 2 so 1.25 is largest quarter of this so 0 comma 1.25 right now that will come up of this and 1 and 3 x 1 y 3 x is 1 here 1 here and 2 3 like this and y is 1 2 3 we did the x1 y3 that is 1 comma 3 this is the point now the next one is 3 comma minus 1 x is 3 and y is minus 1 here so that will be 3 comma minus 1 so these are the points so all these points have been plotted and hopefully you understood it you can plot it on your own um, getting the graphs of centimeter graphs and uh, you will be able to do that i am sure about that so hopefully uh, whatever things it, uh, to be study in this class 9 coordinate geometry that all has been discussed here and that is the complete uh, uh, knowledge of coordinate geometry at this level in class 10 if you go there then definitely you'll be able to understand so many new things and in 11th the things will be expecting and more comprehensive knowledge will be given here in class 9th it is just an product chapter where how to locate a point and how what is x-axis y-axis and what is quadrant and what is origin that all knowledge has been given to you and hopefully you got this all and you understand it well so thanks a lot god bless keep watching and uh, be aware with uh, each and every video so to uh, aware of uh, and get the knowledge of each and every video subscribe this channel and press bell icon so that you will get the notification
this one as well so thank you very much keep watching god bless